Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any uh, audio for this? We might. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. This is Marilyn, and it is time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. This is the 4th of August, and it is about noon, a couple minutes after. And my goodness sakes alive, have we had some trends today. Um, I think it's it must be because they changed the bus drivers from the jerks we had driving back and forth and chopping everything all around to get us some good bus drivers for a change. This has uh this has been a really good uh morning. And so what we've had here are the indices are all pretty much um pretty much in the same range and, and trading. I noticed TF this morning had an interesting thing. Um, it had a real strong uh, open, and then it's kind of it backed off from that, and now they're all pretty much trading uh, together. But that candle did not uh, work very well. Excuse me, let me shut this cell phone off. Um, and so, we've got, uh, it looks to me like crude oil may, I've kind of got my fingers crossed here, may have put in a bottom a couple of days ago. And um, so right now, we've got this coming right back up off, and it, it's showing no signs of weakening right now, so um, we'll see. It's dragging the uh, Canadian dollar right along with it. I don't know how many of you, how many, I don't know how many of you um, trade the, Can the Canadian dollar, but it trades very, very closely to crude oil. Anytime you see a trend in uh, in crude oil, especially those of you who like to trade the um, the Nadex with its uh, spreads, the the Canadian U.S. pair cross can give you a nice heads up for a trade like that. So um, bonds have been also in a good trade trend all morning. And um, it looked like gold might for a while. It had a, a good 30 minutes, and now it's it's kind of in a little bit of a choppy chop chop chop. So we'll have to see what next week brings for that. But the the encouraging thing here is the the crude oil coming up. We've got the VIX right now is trading about 12.17. It had headed up to 13 and change yesterday and has backed off a little bit. Um, and the gold index has, uh, or uh, volatility, has backed off a little bit too. So I kind of get just get a feel for those to... Uh, to give you an idea of if it's going to stay in chop and remain in chop, barring, you know, a news flash. If um, any of you, were, we are desperately trying <laughs> to post these daily magnets as they appear, and there are several of us that are trying to do this. I've there there are some serious bugs with this, but they will get sorted out. That's why it's not um, released. But one thing that I can tell you that will, I, I kind of feel like it will be out sooner rather than later. I don't know what they're going to call it. Uh, I call it a magic show. It's uh, This thing is unbelievable. I, I, I'm just blown away. Um, and I, I, Jamel was using this, I think, earlier also. 
for those of you who are getting frustrated and about to lose your patience, <laughs> help is on the way. This thing is going to make it so much simpler to use. And I, the, the problem with it right now, they're desperately trying. It, it seems to be okay. We haven't quite got it down to the nitty gritty in futures. It seems to be okay, but it is not working in the Forex uh, yet, and so it's it's truly not ready for release. But I am hoping within the next couple of weeks, this thing is out and about. Um, so the, the, the thing to use August for truly is education, because once Labor Day, we, once we clear Labor Day, these markets are going to get real busy, and there will be a lot of volume come pouring back into it. Keep in mind with the big money, they, they've got a lot of investors, and the big money has got to answer to those investors. And so they are, they are graded and judged on their year-end performance, year over year. So they pay a lot of attention to the quarterly ends, but the year ends, that's the annual, I mean, that's really their report card. And so there will be a lot of money moving around the last quarter of the year simply for them to uh, get their, their books in order, so to speak. Um, tomorrow morning, we are going to have, let's see, Friday morning news events, 8.30, we've got uh, the CAD has got some significant numbers, and so does uh, U.S. We've got uh, average hourly earnings, non-farm employment change, unemployment rate, and trade balance will all be out at 8.30, so be careful of 8.30. Canadians also have... Um, 10 o'clock Ivy PMI, which right now the Canadian dollar is saying it's very, very happy. I'm looking for gold to clear right around the, I don't know, 1375-ish area. If it can do that, it will push on up. If it can't, it's likely to chop around for a little while. On my uh, crude oil chart, I will get these magnets uh, reorganized and reshuffled. I'm noticing that last Friday's magnets, I'm glad I left those on there because they are significant for today. Uh, it's tested last Friday's magnet at uh, 4110 tested that twice, three times I see here, and pushed on through. It's uh, It cleared another one of these magnets from last Friday, turned out to be a deviation level today. Another one is just a couple of uh, ticks below, I don't know, maybe 10 ticks below. Are, um, above uh, deviation level today, and I believe that was the highest one. And then we've got an old, really big magnet up here. I'm not sure it's got the juice to get up there because it, remember when any market gets to this, uh, when it's moved one deviation, and keep in mind we've got settlement right here, so it's one deviation off of settlement, the probability that the market will continue past one deviation significantly drops off. The percentages drop off at, when it's cleared two deviations, I think you have something like a three or four percent chance. Uh, the three or four, five percent probability that it will go on. That information is in the forum and I, I made myself a note of that. Um, I need to get it back in front of my face because uh, when the volatility comes up, knowing what your probabilities are 
after a big move uh, can be quite useful to you. So um, I think that's about it. Um, I, Lori had to step away, so she will not be available to do the uh, conference room, to open the conference room for everybody right after this. Uh, maybe tomorrow or uh, maybe Monday she'll get back to uh, being able to do that. And it's really, she only does that now in if people really want her to or they've got questions. You can get, um, you can get personal help and individual help in there. It's a, I don't know, sometimes there's as many as 12 or 15 people in there. But it, especially if you're a, a beginner or if you're struggling with something, it's something you don't get. You've you've tried an entry two or three times and the stupid thing never works out, and you're getting frustrated with why you're not getting it right. Many times, um, many many times, it's because you think you understand something that you uh, don't quite understand we all do that uh, I can't tell you how often that's happened to me and it's like oh now I get it don't hesitate to ask and when we ask you to explain something we're not asking you to explain it to us really the point is you're explaining it to yourself if you want to learn how to be a better trader, get somebody and start teaching them. Because all you're doing is repeating the same stuff over and over and over to yourself. And that's how it sinks in. Um, I, we're all kind of like that. Daryl told me when I started this, he said, you have no idea how much you will grow as a trader just by talking and saying it over and over and over because it uh, you internalize it boy was that good advice so anyway I think that's um, about all oh yeah I wanted to point out one other thing on this crude oil chart because we're going to start seeing more of this right here one day we had a huge amount of volume happening in this uh, 40 10 ish down to 405 ish right in those that is a very very powerful amount of support right there so that be, that becomes a bit of a line in the sand and as long as crude oil stays above 405 or 40 ish right in there then it will likely uh, continue up. I'm looking for 45, 46 on it. Uh, 